Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. And in this video, I'm going to state to you uh, the average salary a graduate in biology or master's in biology can draw from industries and different sectors in abroad. So we have discussed about uh, the average salary a biology graduate can get in India. Now in this video, we are going to talk about the average salary a biology graduate can get abroad. Particularly, we'll be talking about US and other European countries. So these are the two places where most of the applicants apply after graduation and masters. So what will be their salary for that? So one thing you need to be uh, very clear before understanding this is that the salary is a multifactorial thing. It depends on the industry, depends on the location where you are applying to and also it depends on your experience, largely depend on your experience. But still, we are going to give you a uh, idea an idea about uh, what salary you can draw as a biology graduate bs in biological sciences any discipline msc in biological sciences any discipline in usa in uk and different places so what i can say is that uh, one more thing that you need to understand is that salary you will draw in usa uh, is not going to be equivalent uh, if you multiply the, the amount you're getting dollar in, into the value of dollar that is 80 right now to get the uh, salary in India, no, it's not uh, actually logical. The actual logical calculation based on the purchasing power parity, and I'm, I'm going to give a simple idea about that. I'm not going to talk about uh, the details of it, but I'm going to give a simple idea. So on average, a graduate of biology can draw 50,000 to $60,000 a year. 50,000 to $60,000 a year in US, if you consider US. So 50,000 to $60,000, if you ca calculate that $50,000, into 80 rupees that will give you 40 lakh okay so if you'll consider that the 50,000 dollar if you multiply it with 80 you'll be 40 lakh rupees right so 40 lakh divided by 12 equivalent to near about 3 lakh 33,000 something rupees so you'll be like very excited you'll get huge amount but no according to the purchasing power parity approximately the value we are going to get that is 50,000 uh, into 80 we are going to get 40 lakh rupees uh, basically, what value you get, you need to divide with 4 to get uh, 10 lakh rupees. So, near about you'll be getting 10 lakh rupees per year salary, approximately the similar amount considering the lifestyle that you lead in India, considering the same lifestyle you lead in USA. So, that same amount that is 40 lakh rupees will be equivalent to 10 lakh rupees in India. So, approximately as per Indian standard, you'll get 10 lakh rupees per annum. Uh, that is also way more than what you will get in India. So it's near about 83,000 to 85,000 rupees per month salary. In India, you'll approximately get 25,000 to 30,000 rupees as a graduate starting salary. So which is again uh, three times, three and a half times more than what you'll get in India. But still, it's not that 4 lakh or 3 lakh not that lucrative it's 80,000 to 85,000 rupees now if you've uh, done your masters then it will increase obviously it will increase to 70 to 75,000 uh, dollars so if you'll consider 75,000 uh, dollar again the same concept it'll come up to 60 lakhs so divide with 4 it'll give you 15 lakh rupees salary divide with 12 per month you'll get 1 lakh 20,000 to 1 lakh 25,000 Indian equivalent salary after masters on an average salary in USA now, if you consider the same concept in uh, European countries, on average, you're going to get 25,000 to 27,000 pound. So again, I'll give you this calculation that if you're going to get like 25,000 uh, pound and if you consider 100 rupees per pound, so it'll give you like 25 lakh rupees. But again, according to the calculation of purchasing power parity divided with uh, the, uh, the factor and that is four approximately. So that will give you. 5 lakh divided by 4 so it will give you 6 lakh 25,000 rupees 6 lakh 40 uh, 6 lakh 25,000 rupees per year that's the salary you're going to get uh, 6 lakh 25,000 and if you divide it with 12 we are going to get near about 52,000 something salary in European country 52,000 something salary in European countries as per as a graduate BSc in biological sciences now MSc in biological sciences will increase it to uh, much fold it will increase it to 50,000 uh, pound and 50,000 pound in that case again multiplied with 100 will give you 50 lakh uh, rupees but again uh, according to the purchasing power parity you will get 12 lakh 50,000 rupees uh, annum salary so you divide it with uh, 12 so monthly you will get 1 lakh 4,000 1 lakh something salary after masters in life sciences so that's the idea basically you know you should not just multiply it with the value of us dollar or value of great britain pound to get the value you need to calculate based on purchasing power parity 
and then you'll get to know about so you can consider this idea that in uh, in usa you'll get approximately uh, near about 80000 rupees after graduation and 1 lakh rupees 1 lakh 20000 rupees after masters and in in european countries you'll get near about 50 to 55000 rupees per month and uh, after graduation and uh, near about 1 lakh 4000 something after masters as a salary uh, after qualifying the life sciences or biological sciences any other discipline but again it will largely depend on which place you're applying to it will largely depend on your experience and also the industry that you're applying to so there are multi factors that always play important role in terms of salary scale but still this is the overall salary limit that you're going to draw from this and obviously remember if you consider leaving india for the job or uh, in search of job in us or uk or any other european country you need to make this in your mind like this salary of one lakh rupees which is a salary to start with after MSc in, in let's say USA as well as in a European countries will be enough for you to live a comfortable life there or not because again due to purchasing power parity. So that's all about the salary you're, go you're going to expect and draw as a graduate in abroad as a master in abroad. So I believe this, uh, this video is helpful. If, this, if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future and also please mention your personal experience in terms of salary in india in different states so that our viewers get benefit from it thank you bye